I don't always carry a multi-tool, but when I do, it's the surge. <laughs> okay guys, let's jump into this. Okay, so as I was saying before the bugs attacked, <laughs> uh, I don't always carry bushcrafting or tools to bushcraft and oftentimes I find that I already have a lot of the full-size tools so it's not necessary to have uh, multi-tools but when I do carry a multi-tool it's almost always the Leatherman Surge and the reason why I like the Leatherman Surge is a few reasons now it's not just it's not just due to the fact that they have pliers which it's true they do have pliers and the pliers are good they work well but a lot of other multi-tools have pliers that work just as well, if not sometimes better. The real reason I like the Surge comes down to a couple aspects that have to do with one particular tool or one type of device that's on this tool. And that is the interchangeability of saw blades. And what I like about this is at some point, regardless to how little or how much you use your multi-tool, your saw blades are gonna go dull. And unlike a knife blade, you can't really sharpen these. Once they're dull, they're basically gone. But what I like about the Surge is they've incorporated this element that allows you to replace these saw blades. And you know you can exchange them, put them in, and as they get dull, you can put a new one in, or you can take an old one out. In addition to this, they also originally created this design so that you could interchange and put um, file you could interchange and put file blades on here. And so what you get in your package is you get a saw blade that you can replace. You also get a file. And I'm not gonna go digging through my stuff to grab the file, but essentially it's just like this, but it's a file and one side is diamond coated for sharpening knives and the other is more of a wood file. It's a little bit more abrasive. And the double side to that is that because the file is a removable portion of this tool should your main blade go dull because this is after all only 420 hc you can sharpen it you can take that file off or you can you know get into the sheath you can get into the sheath of the tool and you can grab that file and sharpen your main blade or any other blades that you happen to have lying around so that versatility i think is ultimately what sets the surge apart and really not too many other tools actually have that. Now in addition, other things that are very useful about this multi-tool are the fact that they give you a generous flat blade, or sorry, a flat head screwdriver that's pretty generous. They also give you an awl. Now on the 1.0 Surge, they give you a micro screwdriver, which gets changed out on the 2.0, but that doesn't really make too much of a difference because how many micro screws are there to drive in the middle of the woods? Not too many. In addition to that, they also give you an interchangeable flathead and Phillips head screwdriver, and of course, a good old can opener slash wire stripper. So most of the tools on these guys are pretty darn useful. And once again, taking a look at the 2.0, you still retain the awl, which is a nice thing. They just give you a couple flathead screwdrivers instead of the micro screwdriver and the larger flathead. But other than that, same basic tool. And what I really enjoy about the Surge is the versatility and the fact that minus the micro screwdriver on the uh, 1.0, all of these tools are very useful and very, are very useful and can be pretty handy in a pinch for bushcrafting and being out in the woods. Once again, an awl is a very nice tool to have. Can opener can be pretty handy depending on what kind of food you bring. And ultimately, the a lot of the tools on both of these multi-tools, either the Surge 1.0 or 2.0, leave me pretty happy and pretty contented with their functionality and with their usefulness. And so that is why I can classify or categorize the Surge as the Bushcrafter's multi-tool. It's not the lightest, it's not the cheapest, but it really gets the job done and it's not too unreasonably expensive. And like I said, a lot of the tools that come with it from the pretty good sized scissors to the serrated blade to the fixed or not fixed but the plain blade to the saw slash uh, file combo are pretty useful tools that you'll be finding yourself using a lot more than you might think so that is the bushcrafters tool is the surge either 1.0 or 2.0 now i do have a slight preference to the 1.0 but the 2.0 is just fine as well Anyways, guys, that is all for now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video about the Bushcrafters multi-tool. And as always, God bless, and I'm out.